Hey, what's going on guys? The Horror Man back with my next review of the Goosebumps Challenge. This time I read, My Best Friend is Invisible. My Best Friend is Invisible is Goosebumps book number 57 of the original 62. And I have to say, this one sort of blew me away. Initially, I thought I had read all 62 of the original Goosebumps books, but after reading this one, I determined that wasn't the case. My Best Friend is Invisible may in fact be the only book from the original series that I have now just read for the first time. I do remember always thinking this was one of the weaker Goosebumps book covers. I mean, it's still quality artwork, of course, it's still Tim Jacobus, but it just never enticed me. This image of the cat and the floating pizza was never something I looked at and said, I need to read that Goosebumps book. The tagline is, not seeing is believing. And even the title, My Best Friend is Invisible. I always thought it would be really silly. Well guys, this is a prime example of why you should never judge a book by its cover. I loved this book. I'm actually extremely surprised about how much I enjoyed this one. My Best Friend is Invisible follows the story of Sammy Jacobs, who himself wishes he was invisible. He has a 10-year-old brother named Simon, who acts and is treated as if he is the perfect kid. And his parents, both scientists, are often busy with their work. Simon gets all of their positive attention, and Sammy gets very little of it, if any at all. Sammy's best friend is a girl in his class named Roxanne. The two are also partners on a school project. Sammy and Roxanne are also part of their school Olympic team. But Sammy has someone else who wants to be his best friend. An invisible boy named Brent living in his bedroom. Sammy doesn't know how he got there or why. But Brent's only explanation is he wants to be Sammy's best friend. Brent continues to make Sammy's life more and more difficult, though. He claims he's only trying to help him, but he's really hurting him. When the kids at school find out that Sammy thinks he has an invisible kid in his room, they laugh at him. When he's caught talking to Brent, teachers think Sammy is talking to himself and become concerned. Sammy's parents don't believe him. Neither does Simon. Even Roxanne thinks it's all just a big joke. As things get worse and worse for Sammy, he demands that Brent leave. But Brent is intent on being his best friend. In fact, Brent assures Sammy he will never leave. Meanwhile, Roxanne decides that she and Sammy should do their school project on a local haunted house known as Hedge House. The two must go there to explore it and investigate. Hedge House is supposedly haunted by a centuries-old ghost, and they hope to catch it on camera. The chapters that take place in Hedge House are quite intense, even for a Goosebumps book. While I'd say most Goosebumps books are, My Best Friend is Invisible was especially fast-paced. I flew through this one. I couldn't even believe it was over when I was finished. I chose this one to sort of get it over with and ended up incredibly impressed. In many Goosebumps books, the first few chapters are setups with sort of fake outs, if you will. But the story in this one starts almost immediately. It's the twist in My Best Friend is Invisible that really stands out though and it just might be one of the best twists in the entire Goosebumps series. I think I was actually shaking my head in disbelief as I read that final chapter. I came into this one expecting it to be quite low on my list of favorites, but now, after reading it, it will probably be very high in my ranking. As a reminder, I will be ranking all 62 of the original Goosebumps books after I finish rereading and reviewing all of them in the Goosebumps Challenge. I still can't believe how good this one was. I loved it. Have you read My Best Friend is Invisible?
If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. What will I reread and review next in the Goosebumps Challenge? Check back soon to find out. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe. <laughs>